That said, I think these mall REITs get judged based on their weakest tenants. They have seven that belong to once large, uh, large companies that have gone too small for me to mention on the show. Three Lord and Taylors and four Macy's. All these places are not so hot. But Simon says they'll have replacements for these stores that are really fantastic. That's his term. I think he's got something big up his sleeve because he was able to capture Forever 21 in bankruptcy. He really wanted it, along with Brookfield Property Proper, smart guys, and authentic brands. Oh, wow. Excuse me. These guys are really smart. They paid just $81 million. I thought they bought nothing. There's got to be something up their sleeves. Authentic likes brand value, so they must see something. Simon and Brookfield could stand to make a lot of money if they can lease these properties for much more than they would have gotten from Forever 21. Now, put these both together, and you can see a picture of a determined, smart real estate visionary who thinks the stock is too low, despite the perils of brick and mortar in an Amazon world. Simon has an alternative to the stores that are closing, and if he's right that he can bring in better stores, getting out of these contracts with poorly performing retailers, I think it could be a huge win. So why is this so important besides just thinking that Simon's stock is cheap? Because you know what? There's another group that's right for a similar kind of consolidation. It's the oil and gas stocks. The fossil fuel stocks have collapsed here. But as I pointed out recently and repeatedly, I, I, while I think they're uninvestable, I think that they can do something to help themselves. If an oil CEO who believes in the industry wants to put his money where his mouth is, it's time to stand up and make a statement by like David Simon has done. The longer we don't get one, the more likely it is that the energy stocks deserve to be down. So will someone stand up and play simple Simon? The clock is ticking. The bell is tolling. Tolling for the entire oil and gas group. Now, is anyone listening? Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.